Hello everyone. Hope you are fine and doing good in your home. So today we are again back with one more chapter in our English grammar. So this, the name of the chapter is adjectives, order, and position. So before we start the chapter, what we will do? We will see a short video, and we will try to understand what the video is trying to tell us. So let us witness the video. adjectives order and position sometimes we use more than one adjective before a noun in that case there is a particular order that the adjectives must follow in order to be placed in the correct order and position for example that is a horrible big fierce dog i am having nice warm soup he carried a big heavy wooden box it is such a nasty uncomfortable chair i am reading an exciting mystery novel yes. so this is a video explaining or told you that there are certain ways or certain places where we need to put in the adjective Right. In the last chapter, if you remember, you have learned about qualities of adjectives. Okay, the different types of adjectives that we learn. So under the category of quality, if you remember, I don't show you in the slide about the color, the size, the shape, and all the other aspects. Okay. So when that kind of quality comes, and we have a sentence like you, you have witnessed three to four sentences with the paper pictures. In that, you must have understood that they were. More than one adjective that was used, right? So when there are more than one adjective, excuse me, when there are more than one adjective, how do we use them? And where do we place? And what are the ways in which we can place it? So first of all, we are going to learn about O S A S C O M P. This is known as Kosas form. Now, what is Kosas form? We are O stands for opinion, S stands for size. A stands for age. S another S stands for shape. Then C for color. O for origin. Now what is origin? You must be wondering. In the last class also I did not really tell you, but today I will tell you what is the meaning of origin. Like for example, I met a Spanish boy. So the origin of that boy, from where does that boy uh, come from? So the boy is, is uh, coming from Spain. All right. So I have dinner with a Swiss spoon. So from where the spoon has come? The spoon has come from Switzerland. So that is known as to be the origin. Okay. So over here, origin means that. Or whenever we talk about adjective, origin basically means that. Next we have got M. M stands for material. Now what is material? Now you can see this is a pen in my hand. Now what kind of pen is this? This is a plastic pen. What kind of pen? plastic pen so what material is it made out made out of it is made out of plastic so here is where we talk about material and purpose for what purpose it is been done okay we will be seeing in the sentences of the about the purpose right so you need to learn this this is the sequence in which your adjective should come into place when you are putting in more than one adjective in a sentence to describe the term what do we generally do with adjective we use adjective to describe a noun right so you have exercises in your book all right in your book exercise number today we will be exercise number b page number 15 what is to be done in that you can read in the heading right what happened is that the adjectives which are given in the sentences they are not being placed correctly right they may be placed either before or after so you have to rearrange the order in order and you have to follow this sequence if it is talking about the quality of the noun right so over here the first sentence is the queen wore a silken beautiful evening gown right there is something wrong in this what is wrong see i have written the answer for you the queen wore a beautiful silken evening gown check the sequence right beautiful is what beautiful 
is the quality. So that is why it has come first. Your opinion. See, opinion comes under the category of opinion. Silken. Silken is what? It's a kind. Another kind. So where it talks about the material. See, M. Right? And then evening is talking about the time. At what time it has come for us. Right? So you see the sequence. We need to follow whenever quality of adjective comes, we need to follow this Osas form sequence. Right? So in the first sentence you can see this. See, I have done another sentence for you, that is sentence number four. An electric bus, sorry, an electric big red bus took us around the city. So this is the sentence and there are certain mistakes or maybe the adjective has been put in a haywire. Let us see, a big red electric bus took us around the city. Right? Again you see, there may be size, big size. So this is how you got to match with the sequence. This is how we do that. Right? So the correct form will be, a big red electric bus took us around the city. And the last one, I have done number 8 for you. My mother surprised me with a black little cuddly kitten. Right? So, over here, what will be the sequence? Let us see this. My mother surprised me with a little. Little is the size. Over here in the sequence, size comes first. So, little black cuddly kitten. Okay, so this is what we need to follow. We need to follow the sequence and we need to do this all of this exercise. So today your work will be to do exercise number B, page number 15. Right? So you are going to do all these and learn this web which you can see. This, this is going to help you not only in class 6, this is going to help you in the other classes as you advance to the other classes. See all these are going to help you if you remember the mnemonic. These are actually known as mnemonic in English. Mnemonic means you have the short form, contracted form and it is being spread out. Right? How it has spread out like a web. But actually inside that all these meanings are. Okay. So you need to learn such mnemonics to do your grammar work. So saying this we come to the end of our lesson today. You will find everything in the document once again. You see, I always upload a PDF document. You will find everything in the document, right? So, if you don't have a book, you can see from the document and you can do it from there. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.